Okay, this is statics, chapter three, problem number three in the homework. So immediately we're given TAC equals 1350 and that C is 300 millimeter. Oh, okay. I can write that right on here then, can't I? Shantai, 360 millimeters. How cool is that? All right. So what's it asking? It's asking, determine the moment about B of the force exerted by the cord at point A, revolving, resolving the force into horizontal and vertical components applied at point A. Moment about B to the force of the force applied at point A. It's going to want I hat, J hat, so. All right. So I'm thinking we could break up X and Y. But we don't really have points. We're given lengths. So that's showing me it's going to probably want sine and cosine. We want to know about B. So what, what I am just going to want to find out right off the bat here is theta here. We call it theta B. And then theta C. And what we can do after we get theta is then we can find the x and y components of AC, get force from there. And then remember that M equals R cross F. It wants to know the moment. We are going to find the force vectors through the AC. And R right here is going to probably be AB. Since R is any point along the force vector to the, I don't know, the, the spot you're looking for, I guess, in this case. That might be completely wrong. I think it's any spot along the force vector to any spot along the line of action. So what else? Let's just go and do TAC. Now, opposite over adjacent, we're going to have 240 plus 360. This is going to be 600 over 450. Tan inverse of this gives us fifty three point one three theta C. Okay. And now, if we do 13, let's just say this, x component, y component. Thirteen fifty cosine of fifty three point one three and then thirteen fifty sine of fifty three point one three. Okay. I'm getting eight hundred and ten. And then sine, I'm getting 1080. So now we have x and y. 
forces. Now to find R, we, we could call this I hat and J hat. Let's see, I hat, J hat. Even, I don't know if that's the wrong way of doing it, but it is X and Y, and I, J, K is X, Y, Z, so I'm throwing them in there. Because uh, I don't quite know the rules. I'm playing fast and loose. I'm going to call them loose cannons. Loose cannon of mathematics, breaking the rules. So now... Let's find tan inverse of 240 over 450. Because this is going to get us our x and y for our hour, our r. Oh my gosh. Twenty eight point oh seven theta B. So now what we can do is we can cross R and F. Well, actually, no, not yet, not yet. A, B. Well, it can't just be cosine of that angle, right? There's got to be it's going to be something more to it. If you ask me, hmm. Huh. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can find this this AB as R, can't we? Point it to the red. So what we actually should do is we should find the distance from A to B here and call that R. So what it actually is is the square root of 240 squared plus 450 squared, which is 510. And 510's x and y components, wouldn't they just be, well, I don't know. 510 cosine 28.07. 450, yeah. So it's just 450 and 240. Huh. What would happen then if our R is 450 and 240? R on top is going to be 450, 240, 810, 1080. Let's see what happens now. Okay, it's in two directions. So actually what we could do is M equals RF cosine theta. Boom. So now, instead of doing this cross product, I don't think it's going to work. I think I'm on the right track, but let's just see. Instead, what this is going to be is M equals
810 times, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, I think I'm right. So we're going to get eight hundred and ten two forty or times two forty. Minus four fifty times ten eighty. So yeah, let's see. So now I'm getting negative two nine one six hundred. Of course that's millimeters. So add the point there. Two nine one six hundred. That's one too many zeros. Two hundred ninety one point six. Two hundred ninety one. Yeah. That's the moment about. Let's see. Let's try it. Negative two ninety one point six. Not quite. That's the moment about B due to TAC. Does it want it not round? Is it 0.59 is what it wants? Certainly, it can't be that. Well, is it positive? Oh, yeah. Okay. The answer is positive. The answer is positive 291.6. And why is it positive? Well, hold on. Let's just let's just try something. Let's try something. Doing the cross product. Four fifty times ten eighty minus two forty times eight ten.
Yep, okay. 291 point. Point six. That was the issue. I uh, did the cross product the wrong way. There we are.